uh, identity management. Okay, so now we go to the identity management advantages. Advantages are these are it is reliable, it is secure, it, you know, it works very efficiently in case of operations. And as you see on my screen, these are the advantages that that uh, that, uh, that um, Oracle Identity Manager has. Okay. So now we go to the next screen, which says uh, the structure of IDM, how it works. What is the structure? What is how we configure it, and how is the workflow? So here, basically, we have three three tier application: data tier, database tier, web tier, and application tier. In this web tier, we have OHS, that is a web server. It can be an IAP planet, it can be an Apache, it can be several other things, but it should be a web server. In the in the application tier, or you can say as a directory tier, these components are mainly configured. Okay, so these comp components are OVD, which is Oracle Virtual Directory, OID is Oracle Internet Directory, OAM is Oracle Access Manager, and OIM is Oracle Internet Manager. Okay, so these things are there in the application layer. Later on in the webinar, we'll study what all these components are, what are their roles, and how to install it. Below we have the database layer just to uh, keep and maintain the data, the user credentials, and all those things are there in the database. Okay. So we move on to la next screen now. Yeah. Oracle IAM products. IAM is an integration of identity management and access management. It says Oracle. Oracle Identity and Access Management products. So these are all the products that are used for different services like access control. What are what what tools or what are what all products are used for controlling the access and giving the privileges to to, to the users and and you know authentication, authorization, and these things these things um, uh, can be given by access control. The next one we have as identity administration, wherein we deal with creating new IDs and assigning specific roles to to to, uh, to different users. Like let's say uh, in an IT organization, a DBA joins. Okay, so again and again, we don't have to you know uh, give the DBA privileges. I mean, small small privileges to a DBA. We create a profile, a DBA profile. We assign that profile to that particular user. So these things can be done from the identity administration. Okay, which uh, and the product here is Oracle Identity Manager OIM. We have the directory uh, services in which we have uh, Oracle Virtual Directory, Oracle Internet Directory. Okay, in this directory structure, these, these directory structure are just like Active Directory or LDAP, wherein the user user credentials, user authentication, authorization, or policies and everything is stored. So whatever data is pulling from uh, from from LDAP or uh, whatever data is stored in in the LDAP or AD, it's it's just similar. It's a product of Oracle. These directory OVD and OID, these, these things are similar to LDAP or Active Directory, wherein user credentials, groups, and all these things are stored. So whenever it is required, we go and access the OVD and the OID to get the desired user credentials, and 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 you know, uh, these things are saved there in in, uh, in OID and OVD. So we go to next slide is what is Oracle Internet Directory? Okay, Oracle Internet Directory, as I said, is is just like an um, a, a directory wherein we have rules and policies and users and groups that are stored in 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 this product. It's similar to LDAP or or Active Directory. So we have several benefits for uh, for OID, which says reduce operation cost. Okay. We have seamless integration with Oracle applications and products. That means the basic concept is um, in this enterprise world, there are many projects and uh, many products in the market, but we need some tool or some, some product that with the help of that, we need to integrate all those products so that to get uh, to, so as to uh, so as to get the business need. As per the business need, we need to, you know, 
integrate all those products in order to fulfill the requirement of an enterprise world. Okay, so OID is one of them. This feature has full feature LDAP server with the RDBMS data store, industry leading scalability and high availability capabilities, strong Oracle platform integration, and and these things are there. These are the features of of an Oracle Internet Directory. Now go to the next screen is a virtual directory. Virtual directory as the name says is, is a virtual directory wherein it doesn't store any kind of user credentials or user IDs or user password. It is just the virtual directory is just like a virtual server wherein it connects to different LDAP or different uh, different directory services. Like let's say we have we have three directory services, Active Directory, LDAP and OID. So OID or oh, sorry OVD would be the one who would be communicating with all three directory uh, directory services in order to get the desired result. It's just like a load balancer wherein the request come it will go to AD or or it will go to LDAP or it will go to OID depending on where the data is stored and where to fetch the information. Okay, so the benefits are it's rapid application deployment, tighter control on identity data. Okay. Sometimes what happens is unauthorized access and these things are there, but OVD is, is a very smart tool in terms of clustering or in terms of load balancing. You can say it's, it's on top of OID or LDAP or AD or on top of directory services wherein it will redirect its request to, to LDAP or any, of the, or, or any of the directory services. It features our modern Java and web-based uh, services technology virtualization, proxy join and routing capabilities, what I said is it's just like a very smart tool, it's just like a load balancing or a cluster services where it can, you know, um, take care of the proxy things, it will jo join and it will do the routing things in all the directory services. It is superior extensibility, extensibility. that means if more and more directory, directory products are, are added to um, added to the, the architecture, it will directly take into effect and OVD is the one who will capture, who will take all those things into, into, uh, into, con con uh, into consideration and update the configuration as to, you know, add the serv directory services or, you know, decrease the directory services, so it will take care of these things. It is a very smart tool. Okay. Talking about Oracle Access Manager, Oracle Access Manager, it says, is, uh, is uh, used for uh, access, uh, for access control like author authorization and authentication, but the request will, will be hijacked from the web server to the Oracle Access Manager, okay. There, there what's going to happen is, uh, as the request is hijacked, this tool will take care of the authentication, authorization, of any particular user, okay. So it, it has several benefits like centralized and consistent security across heterogeneous environment, okay. Reduce administration cost and improve uh, end user experience. Okay. The features are web web sign on. Like you might have heard about single sign on. Single sign on is a service wherein, like in a portal, when you you know, let's take an example. Like if you go to a Vodafone website and you know you want to pay the bill, when we log in, when we log into the portal, it and, and you know we say view bill or pay bill, it redirects it to a different window or different pop-up comes on the screen. But how are those credentials from one screen to another screen are captured, uh, are are transferred? Ideally, what should happen is when it's redirecting it to the different browser, when it's redirecting it to a different browser. Uh, again, it should it should ask for uh, again it should ask for login in login credential, user authentication and authorization. So these things Oracle Access Manager will take care. These things Oracle Access Manager will take care, and these things like it says multi-level, multi-factor authentication management and you know workflow engine and these things will be taken care by Oracle Access Manager. Enterprise SSO is it similar like Oracle. Uh, access manager, but in in Oracle Access Manager, different tools or different login login pro process can be used. But in SSO, it is the standardized process or standardized uh, uh, product which we can use, which we can use in our architecture. 
So everywhere, wherever we go, we create one SSO for the user. What all tools or what all portals or what all website he he's logging in, he will log in using SSO. There, there is no need to create different IDs for different portals. So whenever, uh, whenever on a portal or on a website, uh, a user is logging with the SSO. So that means this is authentication or uh, uh, the authentication and authorization is done at that point of time. Okay, so. It doesn't have to go for authorization, authentication, and these things. He, again and again, it doesn't have to go and look for whether the user has been authorized or authenticated or whatever. Okay, this SSO will take care of these things. It says eliminate forgotten passport for Windows, uh, Windows desktop, uh, desktop and application. Improve security and user experience. Meet regulate uh, regulatory compliance, which means is. Uh, you don't have to log in again and again. It's it's just a simple sing, single user ID created for any particular user. Okay. So in terms of in terms of user forgotten password for any portal or any website, this is the best tool. We can just install it and start using it. The feature is sign on to any Windows web ho web host mainframe or Java application. Okay. And it it will require only one login, which is SSO. Use any combination of token, smart card, and biometric password. That means sometimes when we, when we, you know, uh, logging is is just keying in the user ID and the password. It can be in a different way. It can be using a smart card. When we swipe our card to the credit card machine, or or when we go to the bank, we we you know uh, use the ATM. These are just the authorization and authentication authentication ways to to access our, our user data or web, web applications, so it is not necessarily in the form of well, not necessarily in the form of uh, of keying in the user ID and the password it can be in any form. So authorization and authentication can be done in in terms of smart cards, tokens, biometric password, or any any such thing. Auto inactive session termination and application shutdown for started framework. Okay, so these all are the features and benefit of enterprise SSO. Now we, the next slide is uh, management. Management is there are different projects for Oracle Identity Management. How we are going to manage all those products? How we are going to, uh, you know, since it is a very complex uh, complex environment. How the engineer who is working on identity manager will take care of the management, how to manage the user IDs, how to manage these products, OID, OVD, OAM, and uh, what is the way? How is, is there any tools or these things? It will take care. Say so service level, performance, configuration, and automation. Just to just to make the life of the engineer who is working for identity manager easy, these tools are there, and uh, this management tool will be there. And uh, he can log into the portal and you know do the performance, check the performance configuration, or can do the automation, and you know can meet the service level. And these things he can do from from the from from the management tool. So one of them is Oracle Enterprise Manager for IDM. Okay, so this is the tool. This is the GUI. Once we install IDM and other products, we install Oracle Enterprise Mon uh, Manager with uh, Identity Manager. Okay, and it will it will check the performance. It will uh, it will configure you know help us to configure any users or it will help us to configure any products that are there. Help us to monitor. Help us to troubleshoot. Help us to restart and help us to you know see certain parameters like CPU, memory, or anything that is happening on the server. So benefits it says is actively manage IDM service level. The rigorous management for IDM technology stack, simplified deployment, patching, and upgrade. So these are just the management tool for the Oracle Identity man Management engineers who are working on these these software. It's nothing related to the users outside world, or it's it's not visible even visible to them. Okay. So it says the features are automated modeling of IAM components and infrastructure. As I already said, as I already said that these these tools. It will provide the model, uh, the IAM that, that means identity and access management component. It, 
we can see it from there, we can view it, we can see the performance and all those things. We can do define SLA, monitor and report, response time, throughput, user metrics and these things, these all are the features of Oracle Enterprise Manager. Now we go to the next screen. Is yes. 